Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hank, physical therapist. And together, we are, together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, I stumbled Bob. over my words a little bit there, Brad. Today, Brad, we're going to talk about shoulder strengthening using the bands and using the wall anchor. If you haven't got one already, what are you thinking? Go out and get one because this is really going to help your rehab with any shoulder, I can tell you that. This is this is almost indispensable. Right, it really comes from different angles, literally, and uh, does what it needs to do, and this video will illustrate why. Yeah, you, you can feel secure that the bands aren't gonna let loose from, you know, if you have it in a doorway or something. These bands, these anchors are anchored into the wall, into the studs, right. so that you can hang on this. And we've done this before, where Brad and I have hung on these things. Yeah, and, that's over 400 so. pounds. Beginner to advanced, we're gonna do, uh, and uh, we got 15 of them, um, and not meaning that you need to do all these, uh, but you can kind of ch pick and choose which ones might be good for you and, and your shoulder rehabilitation. Right, depends on your needs, but Bob, there are people out there. If you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go over to Facebook, please, and like us, because Brad and I, all this week, we're giving out those positive vibes to anybody who like us. I mean, you're going to have a great week if you, yeah, if you like us. Yeah, there's no doubt you're going to probably win the lottery or something of that nature. All right, first one, Brad, with all strengthening of the shoulder, you really got to get to the point where we call the core of the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And what supports the shoulder are the shoulder blades. All right, here and here. Yeah, you got to have those things... If they're, if they're winging and, and they're not giving the support for the shoulder, you don't have a good stable shoulder. Right, it's the so, foundation. So three simple exercises with this. You're gonna use the upper, the upper clip is basically right. Anchor. Upper anchor, yeah, well, I guess we call them clips too. These go on here very easily. Yeah. There's different ways to put them in. You can put them in through the middle like this and up like this, and then it actually, help stop it from sliding. Sure, one to the other. Um, Brad's got a whole million ways of doing yeah. these things, but um, in this case here, I just need to go off the top like this yep. and, and it's all ready to go. So the first one we're gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do what is a field goal. So I'm doing this shape like this, Brad. So you look like a field goal. Yep. Except your head is in the middle. Well, yeah, and, and uh, I guess it's also the Brett Favre touchdown, right? Isn't that how you still always do that? Well, I, so, I guess so. I'm surprised so, you didn't mention that being a Viking fan. Oh, he played for us for a while, remember? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Those were the dark years. <laughs> go up like this. There you go. Okay. I like it like that. Am I getting it better now? There. You can see the wrinkles. I don't yeah. know if you can turn, turn this. There you go, Bob. See, he's getting those scapulas to come together and make those, those uh, traps work. So to they... be honest, when I do these, Brad, I don't mean to cut you off, oh, but yeah. I, actually, I, actually I actually put them in place first. So you establish good yeah, posture. Yeah, and I hold them there okay. while I'm doing these. Yeah. I don't go like this and like this. I keep them there sure. the whole time. And so they're really working as a postural right. muscle right. And, and working really well. So that's the, that's the field goal one. The next one's going to be the cross. Sure. So, like the iron cross yeah. where you hang out on the... Yeah, it's, I, that was beyond my capabilities, I'm sure. I never could iron cross myself either. So same thing, go. I'm trying to keep the shoulder blades. Turn right towards it. You can do that at an angle. Yeah. That's the beauty of the band and the wall anchor. You can go different angles. Now I'll tell you, when you go way out like this, Brad, that's a workout. Oh yeah, I mean, there's a, a lot of leverage yeah, there. Yeah, there's a lot of leverage here. You gotta use a band that's probably not as uh, you know, high I mean, intensity. Look at this wingspan on this, man. He's really yeah. out there. Okay, and then the last one going to, and you, you need to take breaks between these sometimes right. because these are tough, is I'm gonna go ahead and do a reverse Y. So I'm going down like this, reverse Y. Same thing, I'm trying to hold the shoulder blades back and tight against my body yeah. the whole time. Now, sometimes I actually move my shoulder blades on purpose because I want to get the scapulas moving. You so can do it either way. You can do it either way. This is just way. how I prefer it, and usually I'm right. Ah, <laughs> no, never. It depends on the individual, yeah. it really does. But one way or another, we want to get that good posture. It depends what you're trying to accomplish to some extent. Sure. So. Brad, you want to show shoulder external rotation. This is one of our ones that we really, it's almost a part of any shoulder rehab. You do want to include this one. I thought you'd never ask. I need to go from, from this side. I need to just change it so it doesn't slip because I'm only going to use one. So I'll just go like that. See, now I can just use one. It's not going to slip through. I'm going to take a towel roll or just fold it up towel, put it right here on my elbow, between my elbow and my ribs, and then I'm gonna do the motion like this, 90 degree bend in the elbow, 
out like this, and this is a really good, this is like the, uh, the benchmark for rotator cuff strength. Now you can do it one of two ways. You can start on the stomach here yeah. and just go out to neutral, or you can go all the way out, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Right. If you have a shoulder injury, you're going to go pain-free range of motion. Sometimes it hurts when you get way out here, so you just work where you can go pain-free. All of these we're looking at uh, breathing, be relaxed, and 10 to 15 repetitions, right, Bob? Yep. Mm -hmm. And these are these are small muscles, so you don't want to go crazy on these. That, and that's why I don't like to use big heavy weights. That's why the bands work really nice because. Right. Well, you can adjust the resistance, you know, here. And if I go out here, the resistance quite a bit more. This is too much for me, but right. I'm going here. And that's the beauty of the band, Bob. It's so uh, variable and reliable. So this is helping strengthen that rotator cuff, which is helping hold the head of the humerus down in the socket, right. which helps prevent impingement and all sorts of issues that come up when it's get a sloppy shoulder yeah, in there. Like I said, it is one of the, the, the key uh, benchmark exercises. Why don't you go ahead and jump right into internal rotation oh, yeah. too, Brad? Say no more. Yeah. Now internal, I'm going to use both because you're typically quite a bit stronger going in like this. I'll put the towel there and I'm going to go in here and make sure you don't come down here to the belt line. It should go just above the belly button and out and I'm going to keep my elbow at that 90 degrees. Now if, the, if that falls out like that, then I know my elbow got too far away from my body and I'm not uh, being specific to the muscle group I want to be. I brought this up before, same thing in golf. A lot of times golfers will put a glove behind uh, underneath their elbow to keep their elbow in when they, so they don't get the flying elbow when they're sure. swinging. So you're working good form, as, you know. That's right. That is, and the nice thing about the, the band is you can move your wrist so freely you're not locked in. It really works well. All right, I'm going to go to the next one, Brad. Just bit plain old shoulder flexion. Uh, Brad and I both agree we like to go up just to 90. We don't like to work it all the way up. You can. Yep. I mean, uh, we won't uh, disagree with you. But because I, we're, we're a therapist and we work with a lot of injured shoulders, and that's the area that injured shoulder gets irritated. A lot of impingement. Mm -hmm. So you can, nice thing about these bands, Brad, with the handles, you can actually go thumb up like this and just work it. Right. Like this here. And, and you posture. know, if the thumb is up, you have less chance for impingement, so it's a really safe way to strengthen this way. Nice job, Bob. Again, small muscle, long lever arm, so not a lot of stress I usually try not to put on it. Right. Notice he's going from the low anchor because it's a better angle with that particular movement. I'm going to go right into abduction. Um, I, I, you know, if I want to do this one, I have to face it against the, away from the camera, so I'm going to go ahead and do, show my left arm. Same thing, I'm going to go thumb up, and I'm going to go out to the abduction. Sure. Again, small muscle, long lever arm, so I'm going to actually use a, kind of a low level of resistance here. Right. All right, are you ready for doing some PNF patterns, Brad? Ah, so any therapist out there, you're going to remember PNF. Proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Yeah. So these are kind of advanced patterns that can help after, well, we often use it with people after, after a stroke. Right. Uh, but, but they're called functional patterns and they seem to be enhanced by the pattern. Uh, the, the nerve facilitates the nerves. And, right, and the natural motion of the body that the, the mind has kind of got set in. Should I start with yeah, the first Yeah, why don't you one? do a D1? I'm sorry, I put that down, Brad. I didn't oh, hang it up yeah, there. See? He, this is Brad. He wants to, he plays housekeeper. Well, here. I don't like to bend over all the time. Yeah. I like it handy right there. You don't have to bend. That's nice. Okay. So he's doing D1 flexion. So, so he's starting palm down. Like and this. He goes, yep. And you can see I rotate the hand. Now this seems really technical and maybe pitiful for some people, but as a therapist, that makes a big difference on how, that's how the body naturally works. The, the yeah. firing, uh, where, where the muscles fire from the neurological uh, point of view. Yep, so he's bringing it up and across. There, there we go. go. So you go right up, bicep to the mouth, palm up here like you're gonna talk on the phone on that side. That's how we remembered it in school, Bob. Oh, nice. Yeah, I had to memorize all these things. Okay. All right, now the, you're gonna go D1 extension and high left hand. Oh, left hand, yep, there you go. Now this one, the palm is here facing away from video, from the camera, and I'm gonna go down, and palm is gonna go behind me. So here, and here, so you rotate the palm. Boom. Perfect, Brad. Boom. Just oh, like thank you're back you, in school, just like you're back in school, isn't it? <laughs> Good, All right. again, same thing, 10 to 15 repetitions of these. All right, I'm gonna do what is called D2 flexion now. So 
I'm starting low on this side now. You, you know, if you compare the two, you'll see the difference. But I'm starting palm again away from you, and I'm going palm for, facing you now. Palm away, palm facing. Brad had to think about that for a minute, whether or not it's right. Thumb yeah. up, right? <laughs> yeah, the thumb always helps me, because <laughs> yeah, I know your thumb's going to be up there. All right. Again, kind of a neat pattern. Yeah. Uh, really functional and, and helps strengthen a lot of muscles at the same time. Right. You're so. not going right. across the midline of the body is a key aspect of this. All right. Next one um, is this is actually D2 uh, extension. Is I'm going to go down like this now. So again, palm, thumb up. But I'm going to palm facing away. Palm facing you, palm facing away. That seem right, Brad? Sure, Bob. <laughs> it's right. Yeah. These P and F patterns, not all therapists use them as much as other ones, so I'm one that does not because I have success with my other ways. Sure. Okay, internal rotation, Brad, uh, at 90 degrees. Oh, right yeah. One. This is for throwers. Yeah. All right. So for where this one, uh, I think I'm going to switch this just a little bit because I need an orange band because it's a little less resistance. There we go. And we're going to go at 90 degree shoulder here, 90 degree in the elbow. So we got a 90 and a 90. And if you're a thrower, whether baseball, softball, javelin, this is a nice exercise for those small rotator cuff muscles to strengthen them. And I'm not doing this. My elbow stays still and I rotate. Yep, all the rotation on occurs that right there. Of course, we want to work the opposite muscle as well. Here, so, let me grab on it, Brad. I'll do it. Okay. So it's facing. Sure. So same thing. Yeah, I'm at a level here, and this arm is going like this. I don't have a lot of rotation there, You're do I? Bring it all the way down to here. There oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say I can. You can go all the way this all way. Right, past neutral either. I'll, I'll go this way and just go up to neutral. Yeah. See how Bob just moves back to increase the resistance. Very nice. Yep, works out really well. Okay, Brad, I think you're up for chest strengthening. Oh. All right, chest, let's see, I'm going to... Now this, the, the chest muscle, you know, pectoralis major, this is a powerful muscle, so this is why Brad's using actually two bands. Right, and I just hook them up there, and now I'm going to work the lower pec muscles here. So I'm coming down here. Now these are ones you use your wall anchor for. Yep, this is one of them in my set, and then after I do this, I have my set all ready to go, so I can go to my horizontal... Ones. I'm going to switch them here. It's no big deal because I, I want to get the mid, the mid fibers as well. And I also go from the bottom. I won't take the time to do that here. But this is probably where a lot of people would go is where they're coming out horizontal. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like the bench press, but you get really good range on yes, this. Yes, yep. Don't go back too far. Again, 10 to 12 is what I like to do with Look these. Look how he switches his legs. He goes to that side yeah, and you for go some this reason, side. I like having motion because yeah. that's what happens when you play a sport. You don't right. play with your body stationary. You move. And if you want to work on your balance, you go one leg and then hold it like this. This is a cool thing to do. It really works at left ankle right now. Real but, quickly, Brad, you got to show your swimming one. Oh, I know yeah. we've been out, we're running long here, yeah. but go ahead and show the swimming one. The reason I love the swimming one because I always time myself when I swim just because it makes it a little more entertaining for me. But when I started doing this, because I had swim for – about 15 years steady now. When I start doing this exercise, I bend over and I pull, just like pulling through the water. And if you're a swimmer, you know exactly what I mean. I do three sets of 10 of these on each arm, three days a week, and I cut my 100 yard swim by 10 seconds. That's, That's really real. amazing at your age, Brad. Yeah. I mean, it is, actually. You know, it really is. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not, almost 55 or I'm six. I'm not or joshing like here, I'm actually being uh, respectful. Believe it or not, Brad. Thank you, Bob. That's, so, a, that's a new one. But all right. Thanks for really running nice long, one. Brad. We got to cut it off. Oh, my God. Yeah. It is late. Thanks You'll for watching. You'll be watching that one. <laughs>